What's going on there folks? Earthmaster here jumping in on this uh, Thanksgiving day about 321 p.m. West Coast time on November 26, 2020 is the date for Thanksgiving. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. 3.6 right now striking the Southern California region. Uh, this is kind of significant for a couple different re reasons. Uh, for one, this happened right smack dab right near the Salton Sea area. You can see the uh, cluster of earthquakes there within that region, 3.6 being the largest. Some sites indicating that this was a uh, 4.2. I think it was the EMSC, <coughs> EMSC website and a couple other ones. But USGS putting the larger quake here to 3.6. Now, once again, uh, the significance of this is due to the location of the uh, swarm. We do see swarms here, and in fact, we've seen them a little bit closer in years past. But every time we see significant swarms and moderate sized earthquakes, such as a 3.6 for this area, uh, I'd say light to moderate size here, um, it's always eye opening just due to the San Andreas Fault system sitting right up here. That is the southern section of the San Andreas Fault, the locked section, which has not seen significant movement uh, in recent history. Of course, the central and the northern part of the San Andreas Fault has seen significant um, earthquake movement throughout recent history. But this section down here is the one uh, that they're talking about, you know, and by by the terms of they, I'm talking about the USGS, the news media, you know, my parents, your parents, probably siblings, school, school buddies, you know, the big one's going to hit Southern California someday. Well, this is the area that everyone's talking about, that southern section of the San Andreas Fault, a major player uh, with the North American and the Pacific Plate boundary right here. It's been relatively quiet over the past couple days. If you notice on my update videos there, I really haven't discussed too much about earthquake activity. Even up here around the Ridgecrest area, kind of quieting down. Today, not so much. Take a look at all the earthquake activity that's taken place here um, in the Salton Sea area. The largest in the sequence of small tremors, or not tremors, but uh, small earthquakes, is, as I mentioned, a 3.6. Now, this swarm could definitely trigger uh, a, a potential larger quake up here on the San Andreas Fault. It is within the vicinity of about, uh, oh, what are we looking at? Three, six, probably about nine miles or so. The Brawley Seismic Zone is an extensional fault here of the San Andreas Fault, which runs down into the Imperial Fault, which kind of sits uh, off jagged over here to the west just by a mile or so. That is the Imperial Fault where we can see some big earthquakes as well. But, uh, you know, just a heads up, definitely seen some swarming out there in this southern part of the state, right smack dab on the coastal area, coastal, <laughs> beachside salt and sea region, right? Hey, it used to be pretty popular down there before some um, some bad stuff happened, but uh, I've never been down to this area. I've been down south of here and north, but nothing, uh, nothing specifically down here. I want to check this out one day, see how this area looks in this region for, uh, for um, you know, as far as uh, geological activity, maybe uh, you know some uh, surface features that could tell us a little bit of history about this region. One of these days, I'll definitely get down there and check that out. Um, so yeah, with the quiet activity going on over the past couple days, and now we're seeing that swarming popping off here in the Southern California area, right in the uh, right in this area here. We uh, definitely want to keep keep our ears and eyes open, be on alert. You know, kind of give a heads up. Um, to your family or whatnot that may live down here. It's, uh, you know, it's nothing we haven't seen before. Uh, the prior swarms recently were just north of Brawley here and a little bit closer here uh, to the New River area. But this swarm, just a little bit closer. You know, all it takes is a little more action up here to wake a sleeping giant. And uh, bada boom, bada bang, you got a major earthquake. A lot of pressure release potential in this area and a lot of damage that will follow that large quake and 8.1 I believe is the largest uh, that the USGS is 
claiming for this region. The potential built up stress is very, uh, very capable of producing that size of a magnitude. So uh, when we see swarming, it's just not good. Every time we see it, it kind of makes me a little nervous. So we'll see how the day goes. Um, I am, let's see if I got a uh, seismograph station there for that region. Well, the closest one looks to be the Barrett station up here in, uh, down the, kind of, kind of southwest of that region there. Hold on a second, wait for this thing to scroll up here. What do we got, 23, 25? Okay. Um, not this one, but this station down here, Barrett station, is kind of close to the region. I'm going to see if I can pull up a, uh, a little bit closer seismograph, live seismograph station to monitor the earthquake activity. You can see a couple small quakes there um, off in the vicinity of that Barrett station, which I'm sure is no doubt uh, the activity taking place near Salton Sea. So I will attempt to uh, find that, uh, find a closer station there uh, after this video. Looks like it's kind of windy down there in the uh, Tehachapi area as well, up here in Northern California, pretty windy and dry not good no rain in sight we've only had a couple sprinkles in the past <laughs> couple weeks it's pretty depressing and uh, no rain in sight anywhere so stay safe folks kind of watching this i will provide a further update a little bit later on this evening with the update video but for now kind of keep an eye on the swarm going on the, near the uh, salton sea area stay safe out there